Hi guys, we're going to talk about uh, single reinforced beams and double reinforced beams in this video. Now, what is single reinforced beam? The beams that are reinforced longitudinally only in the stress zone, that is the tension zone, is known as single reinforced beam. In such beams, the final bending moment and the stress developed is carried by the tension reinforcement that is the steel reinforcement present in the tension zone and the compression is carried by the concrete. This is the image of reinforcement and simply supported beam is only placed in the tension zone. Uh, the tension is taken by the tensile reinforcement and the compression part is taken by the concrete. This is the reinforcement in cantilever beams. Now, what are doubly reinforced beams? Beams that is reinforced with steel in tension and compression zone is known as doubly reinforced beams. In single reinforced beams, only in the tension zone, steel reinforcement was placed. In doubly reinforced beams, in the tension zone as well as the compression zone, uh, steel reinforcements are placed. It is provided to increase the strength moment of a beam with limited dimensions. Suppose the depth of the beam is restricted. The time to, to withstand the load, they provide uh, reinforcements in the compression zone. That's and hence the name doubly reinforced beam so as to increase the strength. They are used when external living loads can alternate, like I said before, and eccentric loads, that is deviating loads when they are not distributed and when the beam is subjected to a shock or impact or accidental lateral impulse. This is the picture of a double reinforcement a simply supported beam. And this is the double reinforcement cantilever beam. Oh, in the section part, there are four bars actually. Okay guys, so that was all about for in this video. I hope you understood what a single reinforcement beam is and a double reinforcement beam is. So with this, I would like to conclude. Thank you.